Previously on Jailed. If only people knew who does the dumb thing of war, doing to work, it's called teamwork. And there's a surmise I'm already here at the Members of the symposium, allow me to take this opportunity so that I can postulate the thesis and emancipate you from the shackles of ignorance. And how is your wife? Uh, well, she's fine. No, your brother's fallen out of love with her. He doesn't even. When's work gone? Yeah. Yeah, I like your lips, huh? I'm sure I'm okay with you. <laughs> What's going on here? No, 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 look at me. Do I look like... We just have to make sure. We can't just leave yet. Until we find out why she's crying. Blam. You tell her. Tell her who I am. I agree with her. I can't have a he raped her. What? Have you ever been falsely accused of committing a crime? Have you ever been prosecuted and convicted, not by a judge, but by a mob? It's called mob justice. But if you ask me, it's just plain old nonsense. Look, ladies, I did not rape. How many times am I going to tell you this? You did! I did not. Ask her, ask her in my presence what really but happened then, here. But why is she crying? I don't know. I just held her hand. What? You even held her hand and you're saying that you didn't rape her? You're so disgusting. You've raped her. Come on, ladies. Let's go to the hospital and have her checked by the right people. But why? Why did you hold her? We are going in circles. I've said let's go to the hospital and have her checked. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Bonnie, get her. I'm off to bed. Make sure you open up for your brother as soon as he starts knocking on that door. I don't want to be blamed. No, you delayed to open the doors. You want robbers to attack me right in front of my doorstep? Uh -uh. Okay, 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 okay. Mulam, I'll take care of it. Let's, let's go and sleep. I'll take care of him when you come. You know what? On second thought, I'm not continuing this dance. What? If you truly really have a case against me, why don't you damn report it? You are not going anywhere. Watch me. And you? How could you? You and Dan, get in the car. Mister, don't think for one minute that you can just get away with this. I've told you I didn't do it. You're not listening. You're not even there for crying out loud. Vanille! You touch me again. And what, you rapist? I'm not taking any more of this. Vanille, what are you doing? The culprit is escaping. I'm thinking of going to my aunt's place instead. I haven't said bye. Oh Lord, have mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. What's up? Iwe, you finished my airtime. Do you have the New Age Science textbook? Yeah, but I don't lend it out. Do you know who you're just talking to? This is your future president you're talking to, so can you please show some respect? If you're the future president, then what am I? 
um, future presidential bodyguard? Kupusa. Ewe, cut the crap. Um, can you bring the textbook tomorrow? I don't want to come with it to school. Guys might steal it, so you come and get it from home after school. Now, only use it at home. That's rule number one. And rule number two? There's only one rule. Ah, you will. Bye. <laughs> Iwe, go and get Mbonile. What's delaying her? Hi, Matilda. Listen, I have with me right now a rape victim. Yes, she's here with me. The guy who raped her, he was here too, but he just, he just walked away a while ago. Yes, he walked away and we couldn't stop him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The police. The police first, then the medical report, hospital. Okay, okay, thanks. Bye. I'm buff. Doing what? Bonile, come on. I'm sorry, but I think just go without me. What? What have I do? Okay, mister. You are on. Get into the car. Bonile, are you still going to Aunt's place? Get a cab. Okay. Your help. Just leave me alone. <laughs> wow. Wait. Mm. Whatever argument you have with me, I don't want to be involved. That argument is not with me, it's with you. Fancy. 
I left the keys in the flower pot. You're talking of the keys. Where the hell are you? I'm at Auntie Martha's house. What are you doing there? I came to say bye. But you won't believe what your friend Jack has done. Iwe, Jack, I left him at the bar. He was at our house. He had this whole thing planned. What thing? What are you talking about? Your stupid friend has raped him. What did you just say? Our maid has been raped by your friend. No! Can you imagine? Jack can do such a thing. He's a rapist and he will pay for what he has done. Stop ranting like a mad woman and see reasons. Jack is a married man. This nonsense that you're talking about can be sorted out. It will be settled by the law and Selina will see to it. Mbon, can you do as I say, you fool? Ah. Mbon, Mbon. Tress, the doctor only found a trace of semen. I didn't come, but I'm very. Did you catch him in the act? No, we found him threatening her after he had already done it. Before you brought her to the police station, did, did she bath? No, you're asking too many questions. Sorry, madam, but when only traces of semen are found on the victim after the incident occurred less than an hour ago. Tress may suggest she bathed after the act, or the act happened yesterday. Both situations don't fit in this case. You. In the Avara condom. In the Asidiza. Uzi wa Kusidiza. Kusidiza. Uzi interrupted. Asidiza. Officer, this girl has been raped by a monster of a man. She is traumatized. Your talk is not helping at all. Let's just let the law take its course. Huh? Aren't you supposed to pick up the package tomorrow morning? Surprise, surprise. Can we come in? Uh, no. Let's just talk here. Are you okay? Yeah. <sighs> just had a bad day, that's all. Touch upon a rush. Have they told you? Ah, uh, no. Who did you find? Je <laughs> <laughs> And as a dad, at Kodi, with someone, 
register security info about our deal. And now I'm king and I could even wait. I hope you're not the one. Because if you're the one. You don't want to know what I can do to you. Do you? The fuck are you stupid to you? Don't know me. Kaya kubanki mayo. Thanks for your hospitality. This is not like you. Um, do you have Uncle Aston's number? Yes. Um, let's call him. Why not call your brother? I, his phone is off. Give me your phone. Let me call Aston. Is it really possible that your world could crumble to pieces in one night? Is it really possible that the things you thought would never come your way can suddenly just jump in front of you and overtake you? Is it really possible that Suddenly you could contemplate the things that you never imagined yourself capable of. My husband's phone is off. I can't get through to Aston's number. What's Mom, going on? Mom, Mom, please, please sit down. Who is it? Open up, it's the police. The police? The police. What? Check through the window. Yes, the police. 
Wait, wait. No, don't worry. I'll, I'll just open the door. I won't open the grill. We are from the CID. Is this where Mr. Jack Nkwende lives? Yes, where is he? Is he okay? He's a rapist. What? May we please come in? Yes. 